Hi, I'm Michael from CustomPCReview.com. Um, today we're going to be with HP, looking over some of their more business class type units, essentially, on that part. Getting to know a little bit more about what they're producing on the market, what they have coming out soon, and what's actually already existing out there. So with us, I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to our HP representative, and she's going to show us around a little bit. Take the microphone from you. I'm going to hand it to you in a minute when I need both hands to do something cool. Uh, I'm Dan Bennett. I'm in HP's workstation division based in Fort Collins in Colorado. And I'm their demo guy. So I get to tell people just how cool the products are. Um, so if you've got any questions, by all means, you know, fire them at me. Um, we're here at GTC, and I have a number of workstations here on the uh, on the HP booth in, the cor in this corner of the hall. And I'm going to show you some cool stuff that we've got pretty much in every one of these products. We're going to start here with the HP Z1 workstation. And by a workstation, I mean a, a PC for professionals. All of our workstations here can run either Windows or Linux, uh, which suits a number of people with different workflows. They can be for content creation, they can be for uh, engineering, for science, for visualization, whatever it is that people use reliable, high-performing workstations for. We have a number of products. So the Z1 is unique because it's an all-in-one workstation. Um, as far as we know, there is no other product anywhere that is an all-in-one computer that is truly a workstation. We call it workstation because it supports Intel Xeon branded CPUs, NVIDIA Quadro graphics for that reliability and high performance and certifiability, uh, ECC memory, and other features which make it truly a workstation. Um, the all-in-one form factor makes it very attractive for uh, universities and colleges who might want to equip a, a teaching lab, for example, but still have very high-end power for animation classes or engineering classes or something like that. <coughs> so it has a 27-inch uh, IPS display, gorgeous display, um, pretty good color fidelity, um, and uh, very crisp to look at. But it's an all-in-one form factor. What you see here is what you get. We've got various ports on it. There's USB 3 here. I've got some USB 2 ports on the back. Uh, a little hard to see from the front, but they're kind of lurking back there. Um, we do have a display port for an additional monitor and, and so on. Uh, the application I'm running here, by the way, is um, Adobe Premiere Pro from their Creative Suite 6. And the video content you're seeing is from Warren Miller Entertainment, based out of Boulder in the same neck of the woods as, as we're based. But the real thing, the most exciting thing about this particular workstation is the mechanical design. Because when we make a workstation for our customers, we offer a real, a real level of trust to our customers because we want to partner with them. So we want our workstations to be easy to service, easy to maintain, easy to upgrade. So let me show you just how easy it is. And I'm going to hand the microphone back to Mike for a minute. Thank you very much. So all, all I need to do here, tilt it back, I don't even need to shut it down, pull the catches, and there it is, it's open. It's as easy as that. So inside everything is modular. The CPU sits under this cooling, and cooling assembly here. Uh, it's a single socket, in this case it's a Xeon E3-1280 CPU from Intel. Underneath this assemb assembly we have an NVIDIA Quadro 4000M. We are going to the Kepler cards pretty much right now. Um, this one happens to have a Fermi card. And it's a mobile graphics card, which means it sits in this space about here. And the rest of the enclosure is a custom designed by HP to deliver cooling and mechanical support for that mobile format card. We have here, I've got a single large format mechanical drive here. We could put in a pair of solid state drives if you really want um, high performance. Uh, and you can stripe them for performance or for data integrity. Uh, we have four slots for memory, and this assembly here is simply the fan that blows the air through the memory. We take cooling and acoustics extremely um, seriously when we're designing our workstations because both are critically important. So, for example, all around this case, we have thermistors which are measuring the temperature in real time and are monitored by the BIOS. So the BIOS itself is able to ramp these fans up and down to control the heat without running the fans so fast that they become noisy. This workstation sits in front of your face when you're using it. You can't afford to have a noisy workstation. Uh, finally, there's a gas strut in the corner, whoops, which lets you simply drop the lid. Down it goes. I'm going to need two hands again. 
And then once again, with all the actual components on the inside, when you're taking them apart to do the actual maintenance, are there any other tools you need to, for example, pull out the graphics card, pull out the cooling fans, or anything else like that at all? No. The only thing you'd need tools for, really, to access is to take the heat sink off the CPU and to take the panel out. And that's only like eight screws. Um, you, you've probably heard of the, the site ifixit.com, yes. where they take apart devices and workstations and computers and, and show stage by stage all the tools you need, all the, I don't know, everything. They gave this product 10 out of 10 was their rating on ifixit.com because they loved it. I mean, they had the whole thing disassembled in almost no time. So full marks for the Z1 on that. Definitely. Um, so with this, okay, so carry on. With this unit itself, generally, what are the starting prices for it? And, and what can a consumer expect to pay, just to get the basic unit as an example? Start, starting price for this in the US is, I think, around 1600 or 1700 US dollars. Uh, for that, you don't get quite the workstation experience that you would if you spend some more money on, for example, discrete in grid NVIDIA graphics, uh, a Xeon CPU, and some more memory. Um, configured like the one you saw here, it's probably more like 4000 and then uh, for availability, if someone was looking to get one, what would be the best way to actually get them? Well, HP sells its workstations through resellers or through individual sales reps, or you can go to HP's website. Just go to hp.com slash workstations, find your way to the Z1, and there'll be a button that says go shopping. <laughs> Definitely. That sounds excellent. Let's go ahead and go on and see what else we have available. So the next product we have here on, the, on our counter is what we call a mobile workstation. I mean, it looks like a laptop. It is a laptop, but it's kind of a really serious laptop for professional users. So our mobile workstations are differentiated from uh, even our high-end business workstations in a number of ways. Um, one of the most important is that we have NVIDIA Quadro graphics in here. And this particular unit is equipped with the NVIDIA Quadro K5000M graphics card. So that's a very serious, very powerful Kepler generation uh, graphics card that, that we're using right now for this particular workflow. Um, this model is the EliteBook 8770W and one of those sevens indicates that this is actually our 17 inch diagonal model. We also have a 15 inch and a 14 inch. Um, in fact we are the only vendor that has a 14 inch product that we call a mobile workstation. Uh, the 15 inch is our biggest seller, but the 17 inch offers a few advantages. For example, in here there's room for not, not two, but three small form factor drives. So those could, for example, be solid state drives, which you can stripe together. So imagine striping three solid state drives, the performance you can get from that, for example, for a video editing or coloring workflow. Um. So what about the actual durability on the laptop? What, what have you guys tested with it, and what's, what is it capable in terms of its durability? Well, like all our other products, we take durability very seriously. It has a magnesium alloy shell, and we do military standard drop testing and, and stress testing on it to make sure that it is, um, it's durable and rugged. We don't call it ruggedized because um, historically, ruggedized laptops tend to go out into the market with like gnarly rubber all over them and that's not where we're going quite. We call it business, business rugged. Um, you can apparently drive a car over it. You have to have the lid closed of course, but um, we did have one sales guy who, who said that and the customer said, well, let's try it. <laughs> so he went out in the parking lot and tried it and the, and the laptop was fine. A um, couple of other cool things here. So if you want to come closer and have a look at the, the workflow I'm running, uh, this is an application called DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design and it's one of the most commonly used color grading uh, applications for video. And so when you're doing color grading you, you need a display that you can trust from a color perspective. And so this particular unit is equipped with an optional feature which we call the HP Dream Color Display. And the Dream Color Display gives a couple of things which you don't normally find on a laptop. Firstly, it's an IPS display. IPS stands for in-plane switching, and that gives you very wide viewing angle. So let me push this down while you watch what happens. You're probably not used to seeing a laptop retaining an image that looks that good at such an extreme viewing angle. Most laptops, if you tilt it towards you or away from you, the image inverts and the colors go completely wrong. Well, this one 
That just illustrates that we have a very wide viewing angle. The second thing is that this particular display is electronically color managed. I have, I have a utility here, uh, let me find it, called the HP Mobile Display Assistant, which actually allows me to see the color space that I've selected on this display. And then from this pull down menu, I can select different color spaces. Because my project here is using HD video for TV broadcast, the color space is the REC 709, which is the standard for North America, uh, very similar to some of the EBU color spaces in, in Europe. And so this triangle here represents the gamma to REC 709 and the white points and the gamma. And so this monitor is now set to be completely accurately compliant to REC 709. And that's huge. That means that with this mobile workstation, you can be out on the mountains with your GoPro cameras um, and other cameras during the day shooting on site, on, on location, get back to the hotel in the evening, and this thing has the power, uh, the GPU acceleration capability to do the editing and the coloring, and then with the Dream Color display, you know your color is right. And so that gives you a full production facility in a mobile form factor. So just as well with this unit itself, what would be the starting prices that we would see for them? And uh, same thing with the availability wise, is it the same locations? Uh, yes, you get it through the same channels. In other words, through a reseller or through a sales guy or from HP's website. Um, I'm not sure what the starting price is on this. I think it's around, uh, around $1,800. As configured like this, it runs about 3000 typically. Uh, the, the Dream Color option adds about $450 to the price without the Dream Color option. Thank you.